Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. So in today's video we'll be going over the best free assets that were released during the month of June. So throughout the entirety of last month there were several free assets released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace and these are the best ones which I found released for that month. So yes I know it's no longer June and no these aren't the free assets for July. These are simply the best free assets released last month. I feel like I need to verify that because I get asked that every single time I release this video no matter how many times I explain it. So there it is again, just explained as much as I can. So without further ado, let's get on with this video, starting with the complete OpenAI API plugin. So this plugin is a comprehensive Unreal Engine wrapper for the OpenAI API. It supports all OpenAI endpoints including chat completions, image generations, audio translations, moderations and more. So there is a full list on the Marketplace page, which will obviously be linked in the description down below, as all of them will be. And on the page, there's a full list of everything that this can do. And as well as that, all requests are available in both C++ and Blueprints. So whichever one you are more comfortable with using, you can do it in that. And there's also a video on here as well for the plugin overview and a usage example. So some technical details of this are it has full support for OpenAI API. It has in-editor ChatGPT. And in addition, there are several nodes that can be beneficial for other projects, such as saving images to a file, loading textures from bytes, and so on. And all main functions are covered with unit tests. So one thing I will say for this is you do need to have a paid for API key for this to work. I'm pretty sure you can't use a free one. You do have to actually pay for your OpenAI API key for this to then work elsewhere. So in total, there are over 50 blueprints and over 40 C++ classes and this is targeted for Windows. They've also got their own documentation on here as well, which you can have a read through to help understand how to set this all up. Next up, it is the MetaHuman plugin. And this allows you to explore two powerful capabilities. You can turn your own custom mesh into a MetaHuman and you can achieve high fidelity facial capture animations. So this has Mesh to MetaHuman, which is an exciting feature that enables you to turn a custom mesh created by scanning, sculpting, or traditional modeling into a fully rigged MetaHuman, and you can then further refine your character in MetaHuman Creator. And this also has MetaHuman Animator, which is a new feature set that enables you to capture an actor's performance using an iPhone or a stereo HMC, then translate that to a high fidelity facial animation on MetaHuman characters. Every subtle expression, look and emotion is accurately captured and faithfully replicated on your digital human. This is something you may have seen at the Unreal Engine 5.2 tech demo a couple weeks ago and it looks absolutely fantastic. So as I just said it was at the tech demo you do need to use 5.2 or later to use the MetaHuman animator but the meshed MetaHuman can just be in 5.0 and beyond. On here they do also have a quick start tutorial on how to use this as well and this is obviously released by Epic Games themselves so this is a fully official and well working plugin. Now it is TDS Heroes. TDS Heroes plugin is a comprehensive solution for Unreal Engine users that provides graphics enhancement capabilities, development aids, integration with Google AdMob and updated billing SDK. This plugin enables players to customize their visual experience by altering visual effects, rendering parameters and performance. So the graphics enhancement enables players to improve their gaming graphics by providing a variety of options for modifying and enhancing visual settings. Players have complete control over the visual aesthetic of their games from modifying illumination and shadows to fine tuning post-processing effects. So this features a graphic system, Android SDK updater and Android 12 plus support issues fix. There are 10 blueprints and two C++ classes and this is also network replicated. And as I've said with some of the other ones on here as well, there is also documentation and tutorial videos linked on the Marketplace page too, to really help you understand how to use this and how to get it working in your projects to the best of its ability. And finally, last but not least, it is the Electric Dreams Environment Sample. So this is once again released by Epic Games, and this allows you to explore the lush environment of the GDC Electric Dreams demo created with the PCG framework. So this was again featured at the tech demo and the PCG framework is the procedural content generation. So I have made a separate video on this exploring this pack and using the procedural content generation framework which I'll leave a link to in the description down below and on screen now if you do want to go and watch that and the video you're seeing on screen now is a clip from that video. 
So this is absolutely fantastic to just have a look around and explore to see what you can create and also to play around with the PCG framework in a live project. So as I've just said, this project enables you to explore the demo's jungle environment, which was constructed using just a handful of Quixel assets. With these assets, PCG is able to quickly and seamlessly populate worlds, which can be adjusted in real time based on gameplay or other requirements. In addition to PCG, the sample includes a substrate opal shader ball and demonstrates other UE5 features, including Lumen, Nanite and Soundscape. So this is just really great to just have a look around what UE5 is really capable of. However, I must say that this does require quite a high spec system to be able to run as this is really showing off what UE5 can do. So it's very top of the range. But with that, I think that'll be it for this video covering the best free assets released on the Unreal Engine marketplace throughout the month of June 2023. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.